I'm going to talk about the second part of the proof of the la- rational root theorem. Na prove na natin that Q is a factor of A sub N. Now, we're going to prove that P is a factor of A sub 0. Mag-start tayo dito sa part na to. Okay? So, let me have a review. Uh, Q, P and Q are relatively prime. They have no common factor other than 1. P over Q is a 0. So, kapag sinubstitute natin siya dito sa polyamyl function natin, ang sagot dapat 0. And we multiply everything by Q raised to N. Okay? And then, we have this. This expression over here. And what we did was, we transpose this to the other side. Or by addition property of equality, we add negative A sub N, P raised to N on bo- both sides of the equation. And then, we prove that Q is a factor of P uh, of, of A sub N. Now, ang gagawin natin sa second part, imbes na ito yung ilipat natin sa kabila, itong, kabila, itong isang tong ililipat natin. So, let me copy this part. Mm-hmm. A sub N, P raised to N. So, let me copy that part. We have A sub N, P raised to N, plus A sub N minus 1. Uh, what's that? P raised to N minus 1. Q raised to N minus 1. Is that correct? Ah, no, no. I multiply everything by Q. Right? I multiply everything by Q already. Yeah. Plus up to A sub 1. P Q raised to N minus 1. Plus A sub 1. P raised to Q N minus 1. Plus a sub 0 q, what's that? a sub 0 q raised to n is equal to 0. Am I correct? So a sub n p q a sub 1 p q raised to n minus 1 plus a sub 0 p. Okay, that's correct. Um, let me put here part 2. Part 2. Okay. What we're going to do is, by addition property of equality, I'll subtract negative a sub 0 q sub n over here. So I'm going to subtract also on this side. So it will become a sub n p raised to n plus a sub n minus 1 p raised to n minus 1 q plus a sub 1 P Q raised to n minus one, so totanggal na to equals negative a sub zero Q raised to n. Gagamitin ulit natin yung argument natin. Ah, uh, this is by uh, by addition property of equality. Now we will factor out P because we want to prove that P is a factor of a sub zero, so we'll factor out P. So that's p times a sub n, p raised to n minus 1, plus a sub n minus 1, p raised to n minus 2, q. Kasi nilabas mo isang p, dito nilabas mo din isang p, so mabawasan ng isa. Plus a sub 1, wala na yung p, left with q raised to n minus 1, is equal to negative a sub 0, q raised to n. We will use the same argument na ginamit natin sa first proof. Na, ito integer lang to. Kasi, ito integer to. This one is also an integer. Raised to uh, number, it will just also an integer, a whole number. Then, everything is an integer. Integer to. This is an integer. So, P times an integer is equal to this one times this one. Now, um, katulad ng argument ko kanina, for instance, if, if 4, sorry, if 2 times 10, If 2, if 2 times 10 is equal to 4 times 5. If 2 is a factor of this left side, then 2 must also be a factor of the right side. Kung factor siya nitong left side, factor din dapat siya ng right side kasi equal nga to. Okay, so by equality, that is correct. Now, but 2 cannot be a factor of 5 kasi 2 at saka 5, they're relatively prime. So if 2... Is not a factor of 5, then 2 must be a factor of 4. 
Okay? So, we will use this argument dito. P times an integer is equal to negative a sub 0 q sub n. P, over here, P is a factor of the left side. Okay? P is a factor of the right, left side. So, it should also be a factor of the right side. And should also be a factor. Should also be a factor of the right side. Of the right side. Okay? Um, again, P and Q, since P and Q, or Q raised to N, kasi kahit erase mo pa to sa 2, erase mo sa 3, kung relatively prime sila, kahit anong gawin mo dun, relatively prime pa rin sila. Wala silang common factor except for 1. Since P and Q or Q sub N um, do not have any common factor, do not have have uh, common factors, common factors beside 1, besides 1, other than 1. Other than one. And and um, P is a factor of this. Tama? Since P and Q do not have any common factor, and P, P is a factor of negative A sub 0, Q raised to N. Kasi, kung factor to ng left side, kailangan factor din siya ng right side. Si P ay factor ng left side. So, factor din siya ng right side. Ito yung sinabi ko dito. P is a factor of, of this. Pero si P and Q or Q sa N don't have any common factor. So, P must be a factor of A sub 0. And that proves the second part of the rational root theorem.